Hello again, Orange Unified Teachers. This is John over in Educational Technology. And today we're going to start talking about Google Jamboard. So if you log into your MyOUC dashboard, um, Google Jamboard can be found under the Google folder. We click on that one time, and it looks like this little orange icon here. So if I'm going to go ahead and click on that, this will take me to the Google kind of like Jamboard homepage. Uh, alternatively, you can literally just go straight to jamboard.google.com to get there. And in another tutorial, we're going to talk about integration with Google Meet. So you can actually launch a Jamboard directly in your Google Meet without having to do any of this. But for those of you looking for different activities, or they're not necessarily in Google Meet, or it doesn't have to be integrated, this is kind of how you guys would get there. Now, if you look at this page, you notice that it actually looks pretty similar to some of our other Google app landing pages. So if I go to docs.google.com, or sheets.google.com, or slides.google.com, most of them look like this, which is showing you your recent Jamboards. Also know that because it's a Google product, everything you guys do here is also saved to your Google Drive. So if I were to go to my Google Drive, all of my Jamboards are there and they are also searchable. So if you can't remember the name, can't remember when you did it, just trying to find something somebody shared with you three years ago, you can go into your Google Drive and find it from there. So uh, once you guys get this far, you can actually just click on this plus sign in the bottom right hand corner to open up a new jam. Uh, just like we tell our students best practice, first thing you want to do is give it a name. So up here at the top, you guys can rename it. Hopefully we're used to doing stuff like this in Google Docs and other applications from Google anyway. So I will just put here sample Jamboard. Now the nice thing about this, by the way, we're going to go over these tools in the next tutorial, but the nice thing about the Jamboard is that it, it hopefully looks and feels pretty similar to any other kind of Google Doc. So right off the bat, you should know if you want to use this in your Google Classroom, you can post it directly from uh, Assignments Google Classroom. You can also just share it with individuals. So if I want to share this with an individual, I can just type in their name. So say I was sharing this with Randy, I can find him in there and share it just like I would a Google Doc or Sheet or Slide or anything else like that. So I'm gonna, I, I could make him an editor. Um, also know that just like any other Google app, you guys can click on Share and this is how you would get your link. Um, you know, rookie mistake that we all make is make sure that the um, permissions are exactly what you want. So right now it says restricted to only people who are added. Well, I didn't add anybody at this point, so nobody would be able to open it. So make sure if you guys are sharing this with students um, through a post or a dojo or an email or anybody else that you change the link to whatever's most appropriate for you. So right now, obviously, it would be anybody within the district. You can also just say anyone with the link, meaning you're going to share it outside of the district, like say with parents maybe. So anyhow, before you guys copy that link, just make sure you set your, your um, permissions there before doing so. All right, so we're going to go over a lot of the other stuff in the next tutorials, but for now we just wanted to get you guys into Jamboard, make sure that you guys understand um, how to get there, how to rename, and how to save, and we will see you soon. Remember, you guys cannot be an analog teacher in a digital world. We'll see you guys soon.